Assalamualaikum Okay for the video assessment For the assignment uh, Let's start with the theoretical part uh, Which is This assignment is all about to satisfy The object oriented program Object oriented program Is procedural programming That have a few advantages uh, Such as OOP is faster and easier to execute OOP provides a clear structure For the program and OOP makes it possible to create full reusable application with less code and shorter development time. Okay, after that, the, the part of array, which is uh, most uh, we use the dynamic array. Uh, one of the problems occurring when working with array data structure is that it just cannot be changed during the program run. By using the dynamic array, we mean that the length of the array is not known at compile time. In most applications, not knowing the size of the array copper type is the norm. So this is a very important skill to master. Okay, so basically in dynamic array, it has uh, two things, which is insertion and deletion. Okay, for the insertion of dynamic array, first we need to initialize i equal to n, which is i equal to size array. And then uh, insert k, which is the position, and go to this step. i bigger than k. After that, we go to this step. A i which is the index of array equal to a i minus one, and then go to the i minus minus, and then we go to this equation again, and it will start looping until the result is no. So the new item will be added. Okay, after that the deletion. Uh, to delete to delete k, we have to uh, declare delete k which is position and initialize it i equal to k. And then i equal to n which is the size of array and then if it's true it will go to the step which is a i index equal to a i plus one after that i plus plus and then if we go to the step again and start looping until the value of i less than n is no so it will be the end hi now i'm going to give a simple explanation about the code that we use in our finance assessment so in this project we have three classes that we use, which is the main.cpp, marks.h, and marks.cpp. So in marks.h, this class result is, is used to create a file which contains the function and the variable definition. We have private for the variable and public for the function. Next, we have the marks.cpp. This is to make the program inside the function so that it can be used in the main class. After that, we have input result function which is used to make the user to insert their input of the marks. Then, we have display function. This function is used to display all the marks, the total marks and the average of marks. After that, we also have insertion. So in insertion, this function is used to make the insertion of the marks until it reach the limit of the insertion. Then we also have the deletion part. This deletion part of the marks until it reach the limit of the deletion. After that, we have another function called as menu this function is to make a choice for the user to choose option for the program they wanted and lastly we have the main.cpp this main class called the function inside the result class by using the object which is the result the object is created by declaration of result in marks.h file is include to make sure that the result can be called inside the main function.